The optimization workshop at the Princeton University was carried out as part of the course forum finding, a lecture and design course by Professor Sigurd Adrian Sens from Princeton University. Professor Ermgard Lochner from Hawks School by Bernick held a workshop during two lecture days, using the software Altair Optistruck, following a lecture with the title, The Car and the Bridge, Mobile and Immobile, Aspects of Structural Optimization. Jan Grassmansdorf and David Schmoozer supported the workshop by granting free licenses. Islam El Nagar prepared the computer lab for the workshop. The Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering gave financial support to the workshop, with Jane Suhu looking after organizational points such as travels and accommodation. Thanks to all of them for making this workshop possible. The video contains a brief introduction into bridge design followed by remarks about form finding and optimization. The final part of the video is about an optimization study related to the Salgan Natobel Bridge in Switzerland. Each chapter can be accessed individually, just click on the topic of interest. With the available geometrical digital modeling tools, more designers participate in footbridge competitions and base their work on aesthetic and often subjective considerations to achieve scenographic effects. This particular design approach raises questions from a structural point of view, with respect to the resulting lack of structural efficiency. The evolution of a sculptural shape needs a team of architects, engineers and contractors to find the right synergy between aesthetics, structural performance and context. The BP footbridge shown in Figure 1 designed by Gary and partners and engineered by SOM, exemplifies this design approach. Clad in brushed stainless steel panels, the BP bridge creates an acoustic barrier from the traffic noise below. However, there is a deep sense that the structural design of the bridge alone is insufficient to achieve its design intent. Analytical geometry on the other hand, is a tool that has been used since antiquity for the development of architectural shapes. These forms are thus limited by the rules imposed by geometry and the designer's imagination. The question really is, whether geometry is the source of inspiration, or as an afterthought tool to describe an idea. A footbridge designer wants to create contextual relationships, choose materials, develop shapes and size and assemble a system in a complex organizational process, making the initial brainchild a reality. The question really is what approach to take. Undoubtedly the basis of each footbridge design must be nested in reflections about urban planning and historical and local context. Indeed the first design consideration lies in setting these exact contextual boundary conditions, within which the exact shape of the footbridge can be generated. Once these boundary conditions are set, what design approach should be taken? Unlike the digital or virtual world, Reality has its own constraints. In the world of footbridges, science, statics and gravity or in other words the rules of nature play the defining role. Of all traditional structural design elements, ranging from material choice, profile sections, node type, global geometry and support conditions, the global geometry mostly decides whether a footbridge will be stable, safe and stiff enough. This workshop explore tools are available to the designer to generate this gravity model geometries. Principles of lightweight structures, as they can be found in natural systems, and their transmission into the area of architecture and structural design, have been widely explored by Fry Otto and his team. The works of the Institute of Lightweight Structures IL, today, Institute for Lightweight Structures and Conceptual Design ILEK are until now constantly present in various kinds of design and scientific presentations, which demonstrates their fundamental and versatile potentials of application. The numerical methods of structural optimization are generally used in the automobile and aircraft industries, striving for components of high efficiency and low self-weight. The geometry of these components is mostly of a complex three-dimensional shape, and the loading conditions are often also determined by spatial configurations leading to three-dimensional shapes of the geometries generated. In principle, the methods of structural optimization are dedicated to solve very specific problems in the design of structural components. 
In comparison to the procedures of optimization, the creative process of architectural and structural design is in general less focused. The synthesis of various conditions and constraints within a design development is determined by manifold, often diverging design drivers, which, in combination with subjective settings of the designer, leads to diversification and plurality, rather than to a specific solution. The application of methods of structural optimization into the design of bridges may therefore seem unreasonable. Many aspects of bridge design, such as aesthetical associations, robustness and manufacturability, users' comfort etc., cannot be taken into account when concentrating on the structural performance of a design. However, it is the context of structural shape and structural performance, as an essential part of the design of structures, that can be induced as a determining contribution into the design process. Various structural and aesthetical inspirations can be gathered out of studies using structural optimization. In this workshop, the optimization software Altair Optistruct was applied to the design of bridges. As a takeoff and inspiration, five significant bridge designs, all of them using concrete as a platform and dominant structural material, were chosen as objects of study. The bridge loading is in all cases largely determined by the self-weight of the bridge deck, which allows one dominating and shape determining load case being applied. Optimization models were prepared in beforehand, all of them being set up in a way that the optimization objective was the minimization of the compliance with the volume fraction of the design space allowed to be used. Variations of support conditions, of the volume fraction, or of constraints such as extrusion parameters, together with the simultaneous evaluation of the structural efficiency, allowed to perform studies in shape and structural performance.